Hey there, my name's Stanley and welcome to Runnergy. Today we're going to be testing several different types of masks and see how they perform while running. Before we begin, I just wanted to say I'm not your doctor or your local law book, so I'm not here to tell you whether or not you should wear a mask. Do your own research and decide for yourself. Personally, I choose to wear a mask because there's always a family of five walking shoulder to shoulder and taking up the entire trail. Come on guys, there's this thing called a single file line. In today's unscientific test, we'll be checking out six different types of masks varying from cloth base to more medical style masks. And in order to do so, I'll be running three laps in each mask and checking for breathability, comfort, and fit. Up first, we have the sponge base mask that is very breathable and porous. Go! My easy loop is feeling okay. 9.30 pace right now. Second lap, hitting a moderate pace at 7.20. All right, just sprinting now. 6.50 pace. Oh my God. So, I was about 0.45 miles. It's three laps. So that is the pit of mask. As you can see, sponge material, fairly thin and porous. While we're on the subject of cloth masks, here's a cloth mask here. Cotton outside, cotton, I mean cotton inside, cotton outside. There's even a flap in here. And there's filtering material in here. Claims to filter down to P2.5. Not too sure what that means. It's some measurement but it's a thick material there's some active charcoal in there apparently there's a wire up top there's a cutout and a cup down here for your chin all right so this is a little bit small for my face as you can see here it doesn't quite cover my chin even though it should go over my chin, but when it goes over my chin, my nose is sticking out. I think it's more important to cover my nose here. Pinch it down, it's only halfway up my nose. All right. As I breathe in, all the cloth sticks to my face. So all the air is coming through the cotton which I guess is better than through the sides. I make breathing extremely difficult. Oh my God. I honestly feel like I'm drowning right now. All right, that was super hard. I can barely breathe. And that was the easy round. All right, let's go for a medium pace. Hopefully I don't die. Oh my God. I legit need a break. My heart rate is through the roof. 173 right now. Ready, set, go. Sprint. Oh god. Yeah. All right. So this mask is next to impossible to breathe through. I think even for a long run, you'd be, you'd be working really hard. Because 
you breathe out is okay because as you breathe out it actually separates from your skin as you're breathing out so hard so all the air comes out the bottom but once you breathe in all the cloth here especially as it gets wet and absorbs your sweat it just sticks to your face and you just cannot draw a breath the best way i can describe this mask is it'll drown you next up here we have what claims to be a kn95 mask if you don't know what kn95 is it is the chinese standard of n95 so n95 and kn95 are supposed to be the same filters out 95 percent of whatever let's take a look at this it's a two-layer mask you got your thin outs outside nylon super porous here like I'm not sh sure if you can see through it but yep you can see through it definitely see through and then inside you have this thicker material here oh it popped out as you can see there's a filter inside or an exhale valve and I dropped it okay dropped it on the ground this is gonna go next to my mouth I hope the ground is clean okay if I breathe in dirt well know that I did it for all of you here on YouTube my 15 subscribers all right so this features two exhale valves should be easier to breathe out of <clears throat> swear that's not corona all right here we go here's a close-up goes around your ear it goes a little too low so my ear is being pulled down here then back here is velcro so you can get it pretty tight same on the other side here so overall it's pretty good rather than deep breaths i find it's easier to do short breaths like into out to into out to oh my god spring tuning in this even though it's advertised as a cycling mask definitely cycle light fit wise though this really sticks to your face it doesn't move in or out as you breathe or jump around the vents definitely help and so does the actual filtering material versus cloth so this material is denser and it's easier to breathe through so that's the advantage of like medical grade or real mask material type stuff did i tell you it's 90 degrees today it's 90 degrees today next up in the lineup we have the all-purpose trail running tool swiss army knife of every trail and ultra runner out there the classic buff as you can see it's just a piece of cloth that is basically like a tube worm you stick your arm through it a lot of people when they're not using it do a figure eight twist keep it on their wrist in a pinch you can also use that as toilet paper and save your sock sticks and stones may break your bones but buffs will never rub you raw not speaking from experience it's fairly porous single layer material let's see if you can see my face through it there there we go oh boy mm. Just taking my hat off first. All right, there we go. So, covers your neck. You don't have to wear sunblock on your neck now. And put it up like you're about to rob a bank or just ride your horse. Then you put it over your ears and up through the back of your head here and it won't slide down. Now the downside here is that if you're wearing headphones, I like to use uh, the Aftershocks Aeropex. They sit right next to your head and they stick out a little. They have the back band. So this presses it in too much for comfort, but other types of headphones might work better. 
As you may have suspected, the running buff is very breathable and easy to run with. The only downside is, as it gathers sweat and moisture from your breath, it sits really close to your mouth and skin, in fact it sits right on your skin, so that can get uncomfortable pretty quickly. Other than that, it's a fairly good choice. So let's get on to the next mask. As you might know, it is 90 degrees out. I'm lightheaded. Next up, we're moving into the more medical grade area. Now I put quotes up for medical grade because none of these masks I have are actually for the medical field or certified for medical use. They are just your standard surgical mask, uncertified straight from China. This one seems like fairly high quality, like you can't see through it or anything. And to a touch, it's thick. Now, I have another one of these, which was like paper thin. Pretty sure that one's fake. So, we're gonna put this on here. All right, just goes around your face. I'm sure everyone has worn one of these at least once in their life. So this is your most standard. You'll see this all over the place. Colored side goes on the outside. Air just seeps out right here. So, from here on out, if the first, or first two rounds are good, I'm gonna call it good. Third round I'm deeming unnecessary because I thought the sweat factor would be huge, but it seems like if it's already breathable, then it kind of takes care of the moisture better as well. So, all right, surgical mask, here we go. I don't feel any breath coming out the front. Everything seems to be going out the side. It's making my face sweaty. Overall pretty good though. Possibly even more breathable than the Pitta mask. Mostly because there's such a wide opening for all your air to go through. So from a safety perspective, it's not the best, but from a running perspective, it's quite good. So I'm just gonna do one lap with this. It already seems like a good mask. Last up, we have what's known as a KN95 mask. Now this is the Chinese equivalent of the American N95 mask. But whether or not this specific one meets the standards, I don't know. The packaging is pretty sketchy. There's the rip to tear part here, but the bottom part was sealed so poorly, you could just take it out here, like, why even package these things? Just based off the spelling and capitalization, I'm gonna rule this as not a legit manufacturer. I did look up the banned FDA KN95 masks. There's a list of just poor manufacturers on there of the ones they've tested, but there are hundreds of these manufacturers, so this one wasn't on there, nor was it on the approved list, so I would not recommend these in a medical setting of any sort. But we're not in a medical setting at all. We're out here, the great outdoors, low risk. All right, so right off the bat, just examining the material here, I'm gonna say it's fairly high quality. <laughs> Okay, so first off, the seal around your face doesn't seem that great. Like I'm blowing, if, I, if I'm breathing like, <gasps> like puffs of air are like shooting backwards here. But regardless, it's not an open hole like the, uh, like the surgical mask. So let's go on a run here. Oh, I didn't even stop my watch. Well, still counts on Strava. Like the medical mask, I'm not feeling much air come out through the front. I feel some going up my nose or up to my eyes. So this would clearly fail a hospital fit test in terms of my face shape. All 
All right, so this is actually kind of surprising to me. This is actually a very breathable mask. I ran a total of two miles for six masks. I'm not gonna do a test of just running without a mask. That w that's what you call a baseline. This is clearly an unscientific test. It's going off my feel in my lungs. But I think you'll get a general idea of what kind of mask you should wear if you decide to wear one or need to wear one in your area. Obviously, if I'm going into some high-risk environment like a grocery store, a hospital, I'm going to use the KN95 mask. Thanks for running with me today. I hope you had a great time. Remember, to run far, run fast. Um,